In today's video, we are going to explore best Hermann Hesse inspirational quotes about life, fate, and self-discovery. Let's get started. All interpretation, all psychology, all attempts to make things comprehensible, require the medium of theories, mythologies, and lies. An enlightened man had but one duty, to seek the way to himself, to reach inner certainty, to grope his way forward, no matter where it led. There's no reality except the one contained within us. That's why so many people live an unreal life. They take images outside them for reality and never allow the world within them to assert itself. Words cannot express the joy of new life. And all the voices, all the goals, all the yearnings, all the sorrows, all the pleasures, all the good and evil, all of them together was the world. All of them together was the stream of events, the music of life. And someday there will be nothing left of everything that has twisted my life and grieved it and filled me so often with such anguish. Despair is the result of each earnest attempt to go through life with virtue, justice, and understanding, and to fulfill their requirements. Children live on one side of despair, the awakened on the other side. Each man's life represents a road toward himself, an attempt at such a road, the intimation of a path. No man has ever been entirely and completely himself. For the first time in my life I tasted death, and death tasted bitter, for death is birth, is fear, and dread of some terrible renewal. It is not for me to judge another man's life. I must judge, I must choose, I must spurn, purely for myself. For myself, alone. Passion is always a mystery and unaccountable. And unfortunately, there is no doubt that life does not spare its purest children. Often it is just the most deserving people who cannot help loving those that destroy them. Because the world is so full of death and horror, I try again and again to console my heart and pick the flowers that grow in the midst of hell. I began to understand that suffering and disappointments and melancholy are there not to vex us or cheapen us or deprive us of our dignity but to mature and transfigure us. I believe that the struggle against death, the unconditional and self-willed determination to live, is the motive power behind the lives and activities of all outstanding men. I have always believed, and I still believe, that whatever good or bad fortune may come our way we can always give it meaning and transform it into something of value. I have had to experience so much stupidity, so many vices, so much error, so much nausea, disillusionment, and sorrow, just in order to become a child again and begin anew. I had to experience despair, I had to sink to the greatest mental depths, to thoughts of suicide, in order to experience grace. I realize today that nothing in the world is more distasteful to a man than to take the path that leads to himself. I, also, would like to look and smile, sit and walk like that, so free, so worthy, so restrained, so candid, so childlike and mysterious. A man only looks and walks like that when he has conquered his self. I also will conquer myself. If you hate a person, you hate something in him that is part of yourself. What isn't part of ourselves doesn't disturb us. Loneliness is the way by which destiny endeavors to lead man to himself. One cannot apologize for something fundamental, and a child feels and knows this as well and as deeply as any sage. Siddhartha stopped fighting his fate this very hour, and he stopped suffering. Some of us think holding on makes us strong, but sometimes it is letting go. The deity is within you, not in ideas and books. 
truth is lived, not taught. The sacred sense of beyond, of timelessness, of a world which had an eternal value and the substance of which was divine had been given back to me today by this friend of mine who taught me dancing. The world is not imperfect or slowly evolving along a path to perfection. No, it is perfect at every moment, every sin already carries grace in it. To study history means submitting to chaos and nevertheless retaining faith in order and meaning. What should I possibly have to tell you, O oh Venerable One? Perhaps that you're searching far too much? That in all that searching, you don't find the time for finding? When dealing with the insane, the best method is to pretend to be sane. When we have learned how to listen to trees, then the brevity and the quickness and the childlike hastiness of our thoughts achieve an incomparable joy. Whoever has learned how to listen to trees no longer wants to be a tree. He wants to be nothing except what he is. That is home. That is happiness. The only reality is the one we have inside us. What makes most people's lives so artificial and unworthy is that they falsely regard outside images as reality and they never allow their own inner world to speak. The river has taught me to listen, you will learn from it, too. The river knows everything, one can learn everything from it. You have already learned from the river that it is good to strive downwards, to sink, to seek the depths. The river is everywhere at the same time everywhere and the present only exists for it, not the shadow of the past, nor the shadow of the future. The true profession of a man is to find his way to himself. The world was beautiful when looked at in this way without any seeking, so simple, so childlike. There is, so I believe, in the essence of everything, something that we cannot call learning. There is, my friend, only a knowledge that is everywhere, that is Atman, that is in me and you and in every creature, and I am beginning to believe that this knowledge has no worse enemy than the man of knowledge, than learning. Seriousness is an accident of time. It consists of putting too high a value on time. In eternity there is no time. Eternity is a moment, just long enough for a joke. Those who cannot think or take responsibility for themselves need, and clamor for, a leader. Whoever wants music instead of noise, joy instead of pleasure, soul instead of gold, creative work instead of business, passion instead of foolery, finds no home in this trivial world of ours. Within you there is a stillness and sanctuary to which you can retreat at any time and be yourself. Without words, without writing, and without books there would be no history, there could be no concept of humanity. You treat world history as a mathematician does mathematics, in which nothing but laws and formulas exist, no reality, no good and evil, no time, no yesterday, no tomorrow, nothing but an eternal, shallow, mathematical present. Youth ends when egotism does, maturity begins when one lives for others. A father can pass on his nose and eyes and even his intelligence to his child, but not his soul. In every human being the soul is new. Please let us know your favorite quotes from these best Hermann Hesse inspirational quotes about life, fate and self-discovery in the comments section. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.